Okay. Grab it. What? Okay. Boys, here we go. Fuck, my controller's on the floor. All right. Here we go for the hundredth time. Hand grenade pins in every line. Throw them up and let something wants. shine. Going out of our fucking line. Mind. Mind? Yeah, probably. It's been so long since I've heard that song. So yeah, I picked up a shift, so we're good. All right, skip, skip, skip. It certainly is a grand affair. Die? Bunch of dancing bastards. <laughs> They're all shades. So true. Planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. Yeah. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> I like in Pokemon Snap, so we've only gotten, um, through the like nighttime of the second area and at the moment i really liked the game um during the first area like a big fan during the first area the second area was less um i like it i like it less and i'm sure there's better areas again but this first area went from like damn this feels a lot this feels like it's bursting with personality like the original um to way more what I was scared the game would be like, which is kind of lifeless, and here's a kind of meh thought out route through like, my main problem with it is there's a lot of like grass and shit just in the way, and it doesn't look good, and it feels very like claustrophobic, the second, the second stage specifically. Um, that being said, that's just that stage, and it might be a problem that's only there on that stage. So, we'll see. It feels like claustrophobic and a little lazy, the second the second area. Yeah. And I might be wrong, but it seems like the actual like interactivity with the Pokemon might be a little lower than the original, and I don't know because I'll open the next door. Cover me. I don't. I might be remembering the game wrong. I'm just hoping there's like some more cool moments like there were in the original Pokemon Snap and I'm thinking specifically like when you evolve the Charmeleon at the end of the fire stage into a Charizard that was really cool um when you I forget what you had to do for it but it was like the Gyarados that comes out of the waterfall stuff like that um and there hasn't been anything yet but it's just the first two stages still Yeah. So I like it. I like it. I just um, hope it doesn't actually like degrade in quality like it felt like it did. Yeah. No, you idiot. On the second you stage. Lock doesn't want to open. And it's Fine. I'm still we'll only on the second area, down. so it definitely could still Stop have a lot of those moments, and I just wouldn't know it. I hate this area, by the way. Okay. Or that room, that last part. Not the babies. These things are freaking me out. I definitely still think it's worth picking up. Also, you're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me so much for saying this. The game's frame rate kinda kinda makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> It runs at a solid between 25 and 60. <laughs> it's inconsistent. But 
That, like, I got over that pretty quickly. It's, that's more of a joke, I guess. I know frame rate in your, you know, action-packed, fast-paced Pokemon Snap game. <laughs> Doesn't really make a difference. It is a Pokemon game. So it's a Pokemon game. Yeah, exactly. With the inconsistent frame rate that you would love and expect. Game looks good though. It looks well. It looks good for a Switch game. We don't need forgiveness, asshole. Kind of. It's probably still better than Sword and Shield's frame rate. Damn, really? Wait a second. You would think that, like, it wouldn't have frame rate issues considering they went from making a game on a mobile console to the Nintendo Switch. But, I guess. Are you alright? I don't know. I'm fine. Let's just kill some shit and move on, alright? Interesting. Oh, how very interesting. But yeah, gonna keep playing it. Uh, planning on playing more tonight, I think, for a bit. Very excited. The wild area goes below 10 FPS. That's not okay. Like, under any circumstances for any game. That's a literal slideshow. You would think that a game in the highest grossing franchise of all time would have a little more care to put into it. Yeah. It is unfortunately Pokemon. Fucking sucks. I can't believe, like, I know it's like game, like developed by Game Freak, right? Published by Nintendo. That's how it works. I don't know. You would think that like Nintendo would expect a little more out of its developers. At least double battles run at above 10 FPS in those games. Above 10 FPS is not a difficult <laughs> benchmark. Stay focused, Kaine. I definitely wouldn't say above FPS as being an at least in any situation. <laughs> Come on! We have to keep going! Let's go! Yeah, subsidiaries and Nintendo. Yeah, you'd think Nintendo would expect more out of their subsidiaries. There, that's the word. That's the big word. That's the ticket. Are we going? Are we leaving? Is that this way? Move! Yeah, okay. Having too much fun killing the thing. Yeah, they just don't care. It's like, bad ah, people are gonna buy it, dude. No one cares about the stupid Gaijin PC gamers who actually care about frame rate <laughs> and how the game is optimized. It's for kids, dude. XD. It's just the like game made for kids. My parents will buy it for them anyways. Less money spent on development, the bigger the profits, yeah. I feel like they have to still spend a lot of money on development in some way, right? Like, the games aren't released like Call of Duty once a year. Damn it, I can't get it open! But they're very similar, in the sense that, like... Dude, I know you guys are like, Monster Hunter is the Call of Duty of Japan. Then what? Like, Pokemon has to be, like, something that we have, like... Like FIFA? Like like sports games? Pokemon is usually once a year, is it really? No. I feel like it takes like a few years between Pokemon games. Oh, you pissed her off now! Maybe you shouldn't have killed her friends. Look at her. So full of skull and hate. She's just like you, sunshine. <laughs> Like you're any different. Oh, let him. Hey, it's just another crush for you. Hey now. You're in pain. You're lonely. Sometimes, no yeah. one likes you. Huh. So you try to hide. They gotta pay their senior and confident employees. They gotta pay the old heads, dude. I'm not like that. Old heads need a needed brand new car. It's okay. It is. Look, I'm the same. 
There's an extra year between Oras and Sun and Moon. That might be why I think it's like more than a year. I feel like, well, no, there's like more of a gap between black and white and X and Y, right? Or black and white two, right, right, right. They did the two thing, so maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'm weird because I definitely consider it like, okay, black and white two is one game and then black and, black and white, sorry, one is one game and then black and white two is like still black and white and then the new game would be X and Y at that point. And after Sword and Shield, this focus on the DLC. Right. Yeah. All right, come on. Dude, I don't know. It's not it's not cool. Like, at the very least, like, you know, Breath of the Wild ran well. Odyssey ran well. As much as I like, don't like those games, gameplay wise, as much. They they ran well. They were well optimized and whatever. Um, it's like the, apparently the Pokemon games don't deserve the same amount of attention. Odyssey ran very well. It did, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Probably more than Pokemon Snap. I'm gonna be honest. Kiseki, I heard Kiseki. I don't know what that means, but I heard it. Play Kiseki. <laughs> they spend too much time designing a hundred new creatures each game. Uh, I mean, you're right, but also it's different departments, right? There's di different two people in, in charge of designing the Pokemon that are, you know, make programming and optimizing the game. means miracle. Oh, okay, cool. Just on its own, it means miracle. That's cool. I like that. Such a beautiful language that I don't understand. Japanese. So foreign. Does anyone truly know the mysteries that lie beyond? All right. <laughs> Devil. Oh, look, we've been with what? it. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, Gestalt. True, truly a forever a mystery. <laughs> like Latin. Don't get it. And uh, Swahili. <laughs> so then humans. No. But it's so beautiful. So beautiful. You know, each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Great. Wait. Sorry, but we're. Please don't be. Our endless existences have a single. Come on now. I like this cutscene, but I'm still gonna skip it because I'm an impatient boy. Can I not get up here? Us, I can't. We're the same. Tools That's crazy. in the hands of a master. No. I'm nothing like you. Oh no, don't attack Emil. Invisible wall, the near experience. Yeah, look, dude, I, I just can't. There's no reason I should be able to climb up there, right? Sick song, by the way. As always. Invisible wall and dark wall, the near experience. Yeah, the reasons they want to fight Popola second. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't want. I was thinking that like you could d do a different order. That'd be kind of cool. Bitch. Oh, I have it. Wow. Sorry, the near replicant experience then. No 
Storybook time, baby. Ciao. Is this? Oh. All right, reading time, baby. Wait, this is new, right? I'm not stupid. Yeah, 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 it is. It is, it is. Don't answer. I'm not, I'm not stupid, I know. New to Route C and the remake, okay. Thanks. <laughs> right. Beneath the bed. You scamps. <laughs> Augers. Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? Poggers, dude. Poggers. Ah. Just so darn cold. It's his birthday. This is so unbelievably wholesome. Yeah, I, I figured you typed it up before. It's all good. I'm just, I'm fucking around. Um, this is way too wholesome, and I'm very scared. And this takes place right after Emil, you know, gets swallowed by the black hole too. I see. Because you know what happens?
Wake up. Wait, please, wake up. Come on, Emil. Wake up already. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Lazy Bones? No, Emil. You're not dead. I'm just here to keep my promise. Red, yellow, blue, and so many other. I have no so far. Oh. I told you I'd always be watching over you, didn't I? Don't worry about it, you butt. You butt? Looking after little brothers is just what big sisters do. Sorry, Emil. Looks like I'm out of magic. But you are with me. I'll always watch over you. So we'll always be together. Don't cry, Emil. I want you to be happy. Promise me that you'll live for both of us. Bam. I see, I see. <laughs> Doesn't get it at all. <laughs> no, it's his, it's his sister. Very cool. You knew almost nothing about this character in the original game. I'm assuming you learned more in the books. And he was still best boy. Oh, you mean Emil. You knew nothing about Emil. I thought you meant um, Halua. That's awesome, dude. I fucking love Emil. Alright. So, this is... Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. I get what's happening here now. You meant Halua. Okay. It was Anthony that was the fool. <laughs> Anyways. Oops, excuse me. You know, had no backstory outside the docks you find in the underground lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems a lot. There's a lot more in the game now. It's very nice. I have a pretty decent idea about like the characters at the very least. Not not the overarching like what's going on exactly, but a much better idea of what's going on than I thought I would. Freaking great, dude. Can't wait to get my thoughts on this game, honestly. Like the game as a whole. I'm gonna plan for it. I'm definitely, um... Tomorrow, I think, if we get through all the endings today. Or even then. I think tomorrow we're gonna- I'm gonna be given... Doing the little final thing. Where I talk about the game, read the thing, etc, etc. Remaking the book so we might get an official translation. Oh, shit. Physical copy of the English book, though? Hey. This ends here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. How can a mere tool already ordered a physical, physical copy of the original book? Is that what you were tweeting about? The thing that hasn't shipped yet? I am nothing like you. Uh, 
Was halb. Be careful. I know. Hey, Sunshine. I am certain about this, but I think your heart is. What? Fletcher still hasn't shipped. Oh, okay. Damn. What the hell's going on here? You can't tell me, Tyler. You're not the only voice in my life anymore. I've experienced fear, hate, and no sympathy. I'm a curse, a freak. I know that. But guess what? Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you're me. Damn right. We're gonna fuck and we're gonna kiss and we're gonna do it in the butt. And it's gonna be hype. One last time. You want to take a picture of your Yoko Taro collection? Okay, uh, I will watch that after this ending, James. But welcome. Hello. How's your week going? I just, this is, we're getting to some meat and potatoes, so I gotta, I gotta stop. Alright, I can't, like, stop in the middle of it, you know? And what about me? It's nice. I, I took some I took some time off from streaming. Obviously, I worked the weekend. Sweet. And uh, yeah, very busy day yesterday. It was Mother's Day, so that was fun. But uh, I'm eating potatoes now, I think. Maybe not quite. I'm gonna go back to doing this. Brother? Brother? Yoda. This is old still. Huh? Um, yeah, so. We made a lot of money on the weekend, Please, which was nice. Just, just stop. For my only two shifts. I don't need someone else. I'm just gonna watch this again. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. Jonah's been possessed? Yeah. This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. It's you, isn't it? It's you, isn't it? Drops spear. Yes. Yes, it's me. Let's go home. Where's my choice? I'm supposed to get a choice. I was heard there would be a choice. Is it not here? Maybe in a bit. I I'm really sorry. I just I don't know what to I'm so very sorry. Oh, that's right. I still have to fight the Shadow Lord. I forgot about that. 
I'm not even done the fight. You're not even done the fight. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Alright. Um. Yeah. Has school started yet, James? In school yet? Back in? You are, right? How's that going? How many classes are you doing? I swore to protect my sister and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they will stand aside or be the cut shadow down. Lord. Now come on! Let's finish this! Yeah, school's school's back. Pretty sure. What's what's wrong? I don't like that he's actually hurting me. You're freaking me out here, Vice. What are you doing? Classic. Easy. I love, I said this last time, but I freaking love this part. This fight, this, these patterns are so cool. This shit is amazing. 3D bullet hells. You need more of them. Yeah, so good. Oh, I know. I, I have played a bit of it. I don't remember anything, but I have. Auto on the top. Gonna be hype. Alright. Bam, bam. Yeah, we have killed the Shadow Lord. The shadow, we've killed the Shadow Lord. You gotta keep my voice down. Dude, I'm hype. Hype for Automata. Alright, it's still the same, I take well, it. Well, ain't that precious. I don't know. Let's just watch it. I'm happy for him. You know, Sunshine, that black scrawl has almost completely taken you over. Yeah. I know. Let's get back. God damn, we had fun, huh? Killing and killing and more this killing. This is new. What a rush. Yeah. Wait. No. No, no, no. It wasn't fun at all. I turned you into a killing machine. I spread evil and chaos around the world. But it all feels so empty now. Why? I don't understand. What's the black scroll? Sorry. Looks like you stayed inside me. Ah, <gasps> no, 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 no. Sunshine. Stop! Don't be nice to me. Don't make me feel like this. I'm gonna swallow you up, sunshine. Gonna swallow you whole. What? Kaine? What is it? Listen to me. The shade inside me is growing, and I can't stop it. Soon, real soon, I'm gonna go berserk. I can't hold it back anymore. Kaine, you have to fight. You have to. Just shut up and listen to me. <laughs> Booba. Emil is gone, all right. So there's no way anyone can stop me. The fuck? Please. Before it comes to that, I want you. No. To kill me. No. Enough of a request. No. 
Oh shit. The tr The true final bo Oh no. What? Well, hell, sunshine. It's not like I can stop it. When gestalts go out of control, they lose their minds. Both of our memories will be completely overridden. Kaine! Damn it. We have to do something. Oh no. Oh my god, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my god. This far because you were with Ow. Us, Ow. I'm who I am today because of you. I'm not going to give you a fuck. I'm not going to abandon someone I love. Oh my god, dude. It's... I'm going to save you. I swear it. Penny is useful. Your mom's useful. Well, there might be one way to save her. Who said that? It don't matter, so don't ask. Just shut up and listen. Wait, are you? I said, listen! There's a way to save Kaine's life, all right? But you're gonna have to make a difficult decision. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes, I'm going to pin Kaine down. And as soon as I do, you need to stab him in the heart. No, I can't. I don't believe you. Stand around with your thumb up your ass and watch her die in temper. I gotta press X. No, press X, you fool. There we go. If you want to save your precious Kaine, there are two ways to do it. One is to plunge your sword into her chest. That's what she wants after all. Freedom from burdens. Freedom from life. What's the other way? The other way is to make her a normal human being again. Oh. But to make that happen, you gotta trade your own existence for hers. Oh. Well, there you go. Good luck with that. <laughs> You're that shade. The one who lives inside Kaine. Why are you trying to help her? Probably for the same reason you are. Enough talk. Make your choice.
Um. Huh. Man, I'm kind of a piece of shit, so I'm gonna do that. Disappear from this world. Your sister, your friends, everyone in your life will forget you. That's fine. You and any sign that you ever existed will be erased. But in exchange, Kaine will return Wait, to her mortal life. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious right now? There's only one correct order to choose these. Well, shit, man. Okay, so I say no then, right? I want to see ending, so yeah, I have to pick the other one. Well, shit. I guess no. I'm not sure. Now my C. Okay. <gasps> oh shit. This motherfucker. Hit a button, look at the top right. Whoa. Kine. Let's go. Holy on. shit. Can you hear me? <laughs> I spent years inside Kaine's body. That's so cool. Her from within. I felt her pain, her emotions, as if they were my own. And there was so much pain. Oh. So when I say she's free now, I want you to believe me. Thanks to you, Kaine has been forgiven and saved. Oh, wait. She had a final message for you. Oh, what is it? Thank, Thank you. you. you, you. Damn. Well. We'll always be together. Damn. Damn! Okay, so... That was cool. I guess. Um, rest, rest in peace. Wait, one more trek, trek through Shadow Lord's Castle. Yeah, I want to see ending D for sure, because that's the one I would have picked if I had an actual choice. Um, all of a sudden, there there's romance. They throw that right in there, huh? <laughs> They're just like, damn, they about to smooch. Did I notice every credit sequence says the song in a different language? No, I haven't noticed. But now I do. <laughs> Alright. Well then. Yeah, that's why Brother in Ear works better, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not. You're my friend, Kaide. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> Yoko Taro's most romantic scene in the game. <laughs> Implies she's in love with him with Tiran. Oh, 
all within 30 minutes. That's all you get. And there's also when you wake her up from the stone, when she gives you those, you know, the eyes. You know, the eyes. When she gives you that. The bug eyes. That's not what she says in this game, though. That's what she says in the original. You look like shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's definitely different. Damn, dude. All right. Not gonna lie. I wanted these endings to give me more lore. So I'm a little disappointed that they're centered around, you know, around her. Um, she still smooches Papa near. Damn. So, a little disappointing, but still good, still cool. All right, I'm, I'm guessing I'm not gonna get much more game world lore from, yeah, from the game, and it's gonna have to come from the book at this point. Which is okay, which is okay. All right, well, well, there might be more. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, one more trip. One more trip through the, the castle. Get a bit in E. All right, well, a bit is more than nothing. So that's good. I like that. Yeah. Um, I don't have much more to say, honestly. There wasn't much added in Route C. There's the little bits with Devil and Popola, which I very much, I very much liked. Um, wait, well, let me go. Um, they add a little more, especially the last one, where they make it very clear that while well, they need to stop you, in order for whatever the plan is to come into to take effect, um, they still need you to. They still like have like. Your relationship with them doesn't mean nothing to them. And Popola is a bit more of a Sundre than Devola about it, but that's nice. That was a nice touch. Um, and then the, the stuff at the ship, like all the new content, that, that area is just phenomenal. And I like that they show what's on the letter and wow, it's, it's good. It was really good. Um, I really like that area. It feels very self-contained, like it doesn't have much to do with the rest of the game, but that's okay. I mean, they're all kind of like that, right? They're all sort of their own little contained stories within the game world. Um, a shout out to the remake. Um, adding some new content. But other than that, honestly, right now, um, I didn't like playing Root C at all. It was nice for those moments, but holy shit, it's been, it was, it was, it was a slog for sure. Like getting the weapons isn't interesting. The side quests you have to do for it aren't interesting. Um, so not huge on that, but the ending was worth it for sure. Happy is not old Root C. It's not old Root C, but I like, like, let me tell you as someone who didn't play old Root C, this wasn't, I didn't, uh, Love it. <laughs> okay, so I just load this one and then quit and load the, the third one, right? It gives me C. Exit the clear data save screen. Video should land the mood. Okay, welcome back, James. We'll watch the video in one moment. I just want to, like, finish up. So, like, yeah, um, playing it not recommended honestly i feel like i i hate to say this but it feels like other than the final like extra boss fight which it was it was fine it was fine um i probably would have just rather watched watched all i've watched all the new stuff on youtube it felt it felt very drawn out and like it was a big slog for a good ending but not what i wanted out of the ending which kind of sucked but still good and I'm excited to see, uh, shut up, but I'm excited to see, um, see ending D. So let's get that started after 
this video. <laughs> All right, um, scenes, monitor. It was. It was. It was out of fucking range. <laughs> How did that not hit? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was, the fuck, dude? It was out of fucking range! <laughs> That's so good. It was out of fucking range! I don't range. get what happened. Wait, so he... I don't know anything about StarCraft. So he... It was... Target out of range. What did he do? He like went to... I don't know. He's moving very quickly because he's a good StarCraft player. He tries to do something. It was it was out of range. Yeah, Emil's backstory at the end was cool too. I forgot about that. That was nice. The building he was trying to shoot had one HP, it and it was out of range. Damn. <laughs> How did that not hit? Holy shit! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, James. One more time. It was. Wait, you guys can't see this. Look at this guy's keyboard. It looks really cool. Actually, really cool keyboard. He's got the, the, the cool tryhard mouse. He's got cool keyboard. It was, it was out of fucking range! Range! Alright. Anyways, thank you for Jackie James for the video. Um So 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 um Favorite parts of Route C were the changes to the strip wreck and Emil's backstory at the end. Yeah, and having, yeah, true, 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 true. The 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 context for for that for that part of the game was definitely important. And I'm glad I have that now. It's definitely it definitely added stuff to it. It wasn't it's it wasn't. I wish there was a little more new. I don't know what they could have done because I don't know the whole thing yet. Um, I'll probably have more thoughts on that once I read the book. But, um. See, I'm at it's I, I'm at the point now with, with this game, I think, where I've gotten the 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 characters are like they're they're established. The characters are there, and they're good characters. I love Kaine, but as the game has gone on, my my interest has shifted away from the caring about the characters and their relationships, and I'm so interested in the world and what's going on in the world, like what's the big picture, you know. And I think that that didn't really do much to it. Like it gave a little more to Devil and Popola, but it didn't really add much to that. So I think that's why I found it a little, little lacking. Could have saved Emil's whole backstory for C. Honestly, I, I would agree with you on that. That might have been a good idea because there was a lot of new stuff in Root B, and just the stuff with Kaine was was a lot right and then there's so, so much good shit with Emil too in root b this was like root b is definitely like if you want to talk about after roots right now it seems like they front packed it with all the world lore and all the like the good shit and it could have done that's what i thought they were going to do at first i thought they were going to do uh root bb kinase and then root c being emil's but they kind of did both and they added a little bit to emil and a little bit to kinase but yeah so that's that's what i think about root c um honestly not the best to play the experience i could have i would have definitely rather have just watched it it's like once you learn the twist you want to know what happened rather than learn about the characters exactly that's exactly it right yeah okay so root d i want to see what happens Um, after a five minute break, I'm gonna take five minutes, guys, because um, I need to drink some water. And this room is getting really hot. I'm gonna open a window and I'm gonna get some water. And we're gonna be back in like five minutes, so don't go anywhere. We're gonna do root D.